Hello guys, Sapphire Yagami, and I'm um, here with a review for Rain, Season 3, Episode 8, titled Our Undoing. So Don Carlos survives his injuries, but he is brain damaged. Um, Frederick, Duke of Alba, investigates the incident, but Mary and Catherine escape being implicated. Meanwhile, Narcisse holds an inquest into Catherine's possible poisoning of Francis. Mm -mm. Calm down, Empress. But with Bash's help, Catherine exhumes Francis' intact corpse, proving that the blackened liver, it was a liver, not a lung, okay. The blackened liver was from someone else. Um, unknown to all, Cardinal Morel was behind the attempt to, ca to frame Catherine at the urging of a secret party. Upon his failure, the Cardinal is killed. So, as we can see, like, this stuff is getting even more serious after the death of Francis. Lord Cunningham, a Scottish lord, brings new Mary news of famine in Scotland and that Elizabeth has taken Lola's family's hostage and wants Lola to travel to her court in exchange for their freedom. At Catherine's advice, Mary gets engaged to the childlike Don Carlos, who is smitten with Mary and sends grain to Go Scotland at her urging. Lola discovers the truth of how Narcisse ma manipulated her into marrying him and she leaves him and goes to Elizabeth's court to save her family. So within this episode, what all we see is um, Mary has to do her duty as a queen. She has to do what she needs to do to save her country because these people started. So the um, Lord brings these children. Some of them did not survive the journey because the, these children, you know, people are starving. So they had to show her that this is urgent, like this is urgent, and you need to make a move now. Screw your heart. You got to do what you need to do as queen. Catherine. I felt so bad for Catherine because no, no, no parent should have to dig up the the body of their child to prove their innocence and in that they did not kill their own child. Like no parent should have to do that. Like that 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 was hard for Catherine to do. That was so messed up. So now we know Narcisse reign is region is over. <laughs> and what the thing my thing with Narcisse is he should have known that Lola was gonna eventually figure this out because you cannot keep lying because all all you gonna do is use a lie to come up the other lie and the lies will get bigger and bigger and bigger however I feel bad for Lola because I think because it's obvious that he loves her and she actually does love him but um how can you you know he he destroys her trust and once you destroy somebody's trust it is hard to get that back it's, you know what I'm saying it's hard to get that you can't get that back it's not going to be won easily so he's going to have to actually prove to her because it's not like they could divorce this is not you know 2016 they can't just divorce she's stuck with him permanently and so i kind of i'm worried about lola going to elizabeth's court because i i just don't trust it i don't trust elizabeth that way I, i'm worried about lola and, and i really like lola's character she's a very nice person um um i kind of feel bad for the situation with darn carlos and Mary because he I mean he knew he was getting into you know that you know she probably probably would have took some time to love him you know because I mean she just lost her husband you know it's gonna take some time but he knows that his also his duty as a prince and her duty as a queen to do what they have to do for their country so he was willing to help her and he already liked her anything well, I mean it's not like Mary's ugly and she's pretty and um but my situation is because because with him being in this stuck in his childlike state, he is now a pawn to be easily used. So as you, uh, in this episode tonight, Queen Elizabeth now wants Don Carlos. I'm like, <sighs> and his dad is um, if he goes back to Spain without being married, he's gonna um, just lock him away because he's gonna be seen as an embarrassment to you know the entire country so i'm like dang i just feel so so bad for don carlos like it's so messed up meanwhile grit is pregnant she hasn't told mary yet but mary knows something's different about it. like she, she went to go talk to grit she's like grit there's something different about you Grit's like what mm -mm. no no it's, it's probably just a new dress i'm like grit really uh uh we went through this with lola so you should already know that that dress ain't gonna hide that big belly <laughs> for long i'm i'm saying we already went through this lola we found out she's pregnant Francis. And we already know that pirate because that was the last person she slept with. So now she's about to be uh, a madam, a single madam. That should be fun. But also, I thought, I also thought it was interesting because, you know, in this in this time frame, you cannot get divorced. So this popped up my head. 
Bash is still by law married to Kenna. And so Kenna, so whatever she is, if she does something, she's committed adultery. Bash is committed in adultery, even though it's not as harsh on men as it is with women, sadly. So it's like, huh, is Kenna gonna come back soon? Because we know she's pregnant, but the baby's not for Bash, she's for that other guy she slept with. So it's like, hmm, when is she gonna return? Because this stuff, this show is just getting more and more interesting. Um, that is all for now. Um, the new episode of Rain is gonna be played tonight, so I will have the review up for this episode on Wednesday. Because Monday, the weekends, I really don't do nothing except for, like, study because I'm going back to school. And Monday, Tuesdays, I kind of use for editing purposes now. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for the next episode of Rain.